just to... Say, is that a face you have at the front of your head, or is it a butt? Unacceptable. Can't believe you've done this to me. Um... Yeah, so just off screen, I, you know, just meandered around yesterday, floating around. Yes, it is a very good one. That's why it's the only one I have. Um, off screen, I just floated around, did some exploration, because that's the kind of thing that's going to make this series take ages. Yeah, it's a cool down because people are going to use it too much. Um, the exploration is the stuff that's going to take ages between this and Elden Ring, so I'm doing a lot of that off screen just so I don't miss a whole ton of shit. But also so I don't waste uh, a lot of streaming time with it. But while I was floating around off screen, I ran into the scene we're seeing behind me. Which is some fella getting sandwiched between two chickens. So let's help him. Victory is mine. Relax. God, I, was, I just saved your life, and you're threatening me. Uh, Elden Ring, it's going okay. Um, well, I'll be playing it again on Friday if you're around to see how it's going. There are beasts everywhere. Almost got me. Oh wait, son of a bitch! I forgot Who to start the recording again. Anyway? Call me Jax. Hi, Jax. I'm Marwin. It's good to meet you. But maybe we should take this conversation somewhere else. Come with me. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, start recording, why not? My hiding place isn't far from here. Ah, and you're gonna show them exactly where it is? The silence is deceptive. Yeah, don't say. That's not much of a hiding space. You can see that for miles around, especially when you got a campfire so visible. Okay, this is better. I'm sorry about the smell. Finding a safe place to answer nature's call, well, it's not easy. You could, you know, it's probably better off doing that because animals are going to smell all your waste here and know that you're sticking around. How long have you been hiding out here? A few days, I suppose. Maybe longer. It's not by choice. I should be at the fort. I was sent from Goliath to begin my training as an alchemist. So what's stopping you from doing that? It's not just those creatures that are out to get me. My guides were shot by some bastard outlaw. A whole troop left Goliath, but I'm the only one left. I guess he wanted me dead too, but I got away. He's still out there, waiting, while I'm stuck here using up all my supplies. About the outlaw. Yeah? Wow, that's just a massive dick move. What the hell is this about? I wonder if this is the uh, solution for an alternative to the quest. I'll come with you. You'll be safe with me. Yeah, that's not gonna work. There were four of us last time. Three guides. All of them killed. Bang, bang, bang. I have no choice but to lay low here. You wanna help? You need to take him down. Yeah, I'll get rid of him. Last time I saw him, he was looking for me to the east of my camp. If we're lucky, he'll still be there. I'm still not... That was impressive. Thanks, Falk. I'm still not convinced. Does this guy have a problem if I just rob him? I think these are his supplies and he's scarcely got any left. Um, yeah, I still am not sure that the morality system is going to have any substantial effects. Um, but to address the elephant in the room from last time, not that anyone here, I think, is aware of it, the massive problems I had of just, you know, that was unnecessary. The problem I had last time of uh, NPCs disappearing and whole environment disappearing while I was in town, apparently... Uh, that can all be resolved just by turning the uh, render distance settings down to medium. Um, so, I wasn't going to keep playing if that wasn't fixed, but since the fix is that simple, I'm okay with it. Should still be fixed by Pranobites, because that's incredibly bad. I also found this helmet somewhere, and, uh, well, taking a look at that thing in the distance there. The Alb uh, Converter. I did float to the top of that. 
and found... Fuck's sake! The biggest stick is... Nobody even got in your way. Um, but yeah, I got to the top of that. And found a... Pretty cool rifle up there, but there's nothing that I can use. Callahan's Light. Or Callahan's Light, is some... Unaware voice actors keep pronouncing it. Um, yeah, so, like I said, I did a lot of floating around off-screen, just because a jetpack actually makes it kind of fun. Yeah, there's an NPC that I found in the first, uh, second stream, who, uh, seemed to have misread his script, because he kept referring to Kalan as Callahan. And also, it's very strange, because they keep talking about Kalan, even though they all seem to be aware now that Kalan was a fabrication. But, um, yeah. Another thing I did is I basically have been, you know, sucking up all of the jetpack jet fuel that I can find. I still need to use these, but I've gotten the jetpack up to, like, 20 fuel now. So with that, it's going to be a lot more. So it lasts a good long while, but, ah, only up to 16. Lasts a good while, but I need, I need it to last a lot longer. Well, you know what? That's kind of like how from software games are criticized for putting all the lore in item descriptions. I'm not interested in your lore being told through loading screens that I can easily miss and look away from. Because usually I'm watching a loading screen because something bad happened and I'm not actually interested in seeing it. I also did spot some things I want to check out later. Um, I haven't checked out there. I marked a couple NPCs I want to make sure I end up talking to. And, uh, well, I floated along the beach down here and found something very interesting down here. But uh, we'll visit that another time. I also, just for the hell of it, marked, uh... What the hell is making that noise? Uh, marked some tunnels on the, on the highway down there. To remind myself to look at them. I haven't gone anywhere into... Like the Morcon area. Oh, it's these stupid bugs that are digging around. I didn't really go anywhere into the Morcon area yet, so that's gonna that's gonna be a while. I don't think this guy did. This guy even tell us where this outlaw sniper was. I'm starting to get worried. Yeah, the Morcon area. Oh yeah, we gotta check out the Billy Idol concert. For some reason there is nothing to see when I was there. It just straight up doesn't tell you. You have to mark it on the map to see this one. That is... incredibly poor. Oh, did he? Well, why wasn't that part of the conversation saved in the log? Because I can't remember my east from my lefts. It always makes me think, uh... Back to one quest. I can never remember what it was in Gothic 3, where the dialogue said west. Or the subtitle said west when the character said east. And it turned out what the character said. No, because I checked it and he did say it. Oh, it's right there. All right, I gotta pay more attention. But yeah, um, there was one quest in Gothic 3 where, like, the voice said east and the voice was correct, but the subtitle said west, and obviously it saved the subtitle. Is this the guy? He's just standing around here. you think he'd be in a sniper position and wouldn't let me approach if he's popping, on, popping heads... That he sees walking along the road. Come out here, bastard. Make it easier on yourself. Hmm. Huh. Not who I was expecting. Looking for someone? Yes. Out here. Not my choice. Who are you looking for? Maybe it won't hurt for you to know who I'm looking for. 
Well, he's a berserker. About your size. We're all the same size. Ring any bells? Pretty vague description. His name's Marwin. He wants to get to the fort, but I'm not gonna let him. You seem pretty determined. I don't like to fuck around. What did Marwin do to you? To me? Nothing. But that's irrelevant. I know he's supposed to work with the alchemists in the fort. What's so bad about that? Maybe I should explain. The alchemists' elixirs heal wounds, improve a warrior's strength, that sort of thing. It's an advantage that means they're stronger than other factions. Well, Baxter's had enough. Baxter, What's eh? What's that got to do with Marwin? Not a lot. He's just a pawn. When I've seen to it that he won't make it to the fort, I'll take his place. Why the hell are you telling me this? You have no idea who I work for. Like, it wouldn't it be in your, like, self-preservation instincts to just kill me or hide from me? Instead of just telling me exactly what your dastardly plan is? And do what? This is a recurring Nothing theme with the NPCs in this game. Learn what they know so everyone can make use of the knowledge. Such power shouldn't be a secret. A noble goal, don't you agree? If you're wondering, there's a reason I told you all this. Are you asking for my help? Time is not on my side. Working together, we can do something incredible for the free people. Imagine what could be achieved with access to the alchemist's secrets. Listen, what do you think's gonna happen when the Purple Sky Plague's been eradicated? How about we the start with that problem? The will try to seize power for themselves. They'll keep fighting. The bodies will keep piling up. They must be stopped. It's too dangerous for one faction to have so much power. Our boss understands that. Do you? Now, uh, the classic case of, oh, we're the underdogs, so we're fighting for the free people. We're certainly not trying to get that advantage for ourselves. Shit. Come on, what you got? Ow, he stabbed. Holy shit, he killed me. Good stuff. God, this combat is awful. Get a proper hit in first. You're just gonna bow me? Yeah, because I don't want to work with him. It's called role-playing, fool. Nah, that's a good point, though. Let's actually see what he has to say. No, I'm a journalist playing a Dark Souls game and attacking the NPCs without talking to them. About Marwin? I won't let anything happen to him. History isn't kind to those who fall on the wrong side of it. And I won't be denied. So I suggest you stay out of my way. I guess I could intimidate him, but... He's just gonna report back, but I mean, whatever. You have a death wish. If you don't kill me, the bounty hunters will. Don't you understand? I have no choice. You might escape the bounty hunters, but not me. So be it. Guess I can't change your mind. It's funny, really. You think you're right, but you're not. Why can't you understand that if we don't get our hands dirty now, we'll all end up choking on mud in the end? Enjoy your pathetic little victory while you still can. I'm getting out of here. Excellent. Thanks. I don't really see advan any advantage to letting them go, but whatever.
I really like this jetpack, to be honest. It does make it a lot of fun getting around, especially because you run into anything nasty, you just zoop right out of there. So, obviously, the intended counterbalance to that is to have very tough enemies squatting on very good loot. Preferably inside enclosed areas where you can't easily get out of it like that. And the other idea would be to have them with some really powerful ranged attacks that none of them seem to have because their projectiles are so goddamn slow. Any enemy I've encountered so far. About the outlaw. Yeah? He won't be getting in your way anymore. You mean I'm free to leave this cesspit? It's only a cesspit because yeah. you made it. Did you make him suffer? Is that important? He killed my guides right in front of me. I guess I wanted him to suffer. But you're right. It's no good dwelling on the past. It won't bring them back. I better get moving towards the fort. Yeah, you do it on your you own. Do that. Come and visit me when you're at the fort. I guess they'll probably put me up in the healer's quarters. I'd be happy to see you there. Sounds good. No worries. Later. Later. I noticed that dialogue looked like it would have been identical whether we killed the guy or not. Uh, one thing I want to do is go back and talk to this fellow again. They did bring him back. Talk to the alchemist in the fort. I forgot his name. 100% sure that's Crispin Freeman. Parts of the map are the same, but modified. Like, we're in what used to be the desert. In fact, one of the things I want to check out is that... That facility, like, way over there. That is where one of the clerics was, like, squatting. We had to do a quest to get his hammer back or something. Yeah, this is what the desert used to be. There's the fort. Over here is where we started the last game. But I'm not really sure what they're doing to uh, prevent you from going to the edge of the map. I don't really have a frame of reference to say, like, the the dome city is somewhere past the left here. That's the dam where nothing important really happened. Up here on the left would be the ice palace. And then this is the volcanic area where the clerics used to be. And this is actually where the comet hit, if I remember correctly. It's interesting that a whole facility's chilling here now. I am curious to see that. This area I'm not really sure about. I haven't explored it yet. But then this is a new area. But anyway. Found a fellow out here who I suspect is going to become a companion. And I just kind of left him out here because I didn't feel like dealing with him at the time. Okay, lead the way. I'll be right behind you. Okay, good. But I'm a fast and handsome son of a bitch, so keep up. I hate waiting. Neither of those are relevant. Or at least the latter isn't. But you feel the need to keep reminding people that you're a handsome dude. You know your way around here? I used to. Things have changed since then. Yep. Life finds a way and all that. A Jurassic Park reference. Also, I noticed that... Uh, you know I'm going to turn the render distance back up. At least while we're outside the city. Um, but I noticed there's a couple world hearts out here that nobody seems to be guarding, considering the, uh, berserkers make a big deal out of that. Why did it put my weapon away when I changed the settings? I also might have cleared out most of the monsters he was so, ready to fight. You from? You know, originally. It's complicated. No, it does not, Dan's. I grew up with the Alps. All the choices really? were decided oh. by the developers oh, because they switch. didn't have any I had no idea reason to, and, and they didn't have any ability to import like the us. saves. They don't really. Like I said, it's complicated. Well, at least I know you can keep up. Not bad for an old guy. If you say so. But 
How are you at long distances? Depends. How long are we talking? Like running all the way he calls the me an old guy, even up. though or you think those I look about ten years younger than I did in the last game. Get moving and we'll find out. Cool. First one to break a sweat, those the other are back rub. Ew. Are we just doing cross country jogging? What if I just jetpack through all this shit? This is very weird. I think he is. I wonder if they actually, uh... It'd be hilarious if they actually went as far as to add a gay romance option. Especially since, uh... Jax already has a kid. They did choose a canon romance for the first game as well, by the way. Why why is this the quest? You an old man? You in pain yet? Only when you talk, kid. Good one. Cool. Got to say you're fitter than I thought. Where are we going? Are we are we seriously just jogging? I don't know if I'm supposed to stay ahead of him or what. Don't push me. Probably would be more entertaining if I didn't run around and clear out all the monsters that might have been on our way. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he just stopped in the bush. Can't just take a sudden left without telling me. So why do you need someone watching your back? Ooh, you got a big heist planned? No, it's the invaders from the Purple Towers. We're gonna be in some deep shit with them pretty soon. I want to be prepared. Oh, sure. Well, if that's all it is. Are we gonna stop and dip our feet in the river? Well, hey, it's a pretty distinct way of referring to them. Well, nobody knows what they're called. The only person who came up with those names is Adam, and he hasn't talked to anybody yet. Besides us. You know, if I told this guy we're trying to stop the formers, he'd be like, who the fuck is that? And then I have to explain it's the aliens putting up the purple towers everywhere. I really, I really made this weird. Since I just went ahead and farmed all these for XP well ahead of doing any of this. But really, that was because I was going around here with Kaya for her quest. And these two would have interfered with each other. I don't think you need to trademark a sequel if you're just putting a number at the end of it. You trademark the IP as a whole. Are we going to the Purple Tower? You're not one of those crazy save the world types, are you? I'm just a realist. The danger to my life is real. Huh. Sounds reasonable. Well, maybe kind of crazy, but hey, you gotta be crazy to survive in this world, am I right? Uh, Dan, so that was because they actually got a grant specifically for saying they're making a game called Elix 2. They basically had to pitch something to this uh, European Union program that was offering like grant money for artistic uh projects they basically said had to say yeah we're making elex 2 we already have a template for it so they pretty much committed to it before the first game even released uh oh that don't sound good Yeesh. Oh, we're running straight for all the creepy dogs. I did kill a couple of these. The ones called Young don't seem too dangerous. So, I find it funny that so far... Are you just gonna let that happen? So far, all of the uh, alien species they've added... 
Whoops. I think I just smacked him in the face. So far, all the alien species they've added use the skeleton and animations of enemies that and were in the first stop. game. This should be far enough. Okay, pal, cut the crap. Why'd you bring me here? What are you planning? Well, actually nothing, for once. Just wanted to see your moves. I mean, if we're gonna fight together, I need to know you're up to it. Nah, there's more to it than that. I can smell trouble on you. Trouble bad enough that you're running all over Tavar to get away from it. There's no keeping secrets from you, is there? Quit Not stalling. when the script demands it. The truth now. So you really want to know, huh? Uh, fine. I, uh, well, I should have been back at the fort ages ago. They sent me out to get some meat. You know, warriors do that sometimes, even though it's really a cultivator job. But anyway, I guess I kind of lost track of time, and I'm running a bit late. Just, you know, a smidgen. When were you supposed to deliver this meat? Let's see, they gave me two days? Okay, and how long ago was that? Well, I can't tell you to the exact minute, but around two months, give or take a couple days. Wow. Right, so you see my problem? Yeah, I show up for duty now, they just throw my ass in jail. <sighs> Bet you've never heard a sadder tale. I like it better out here, so whatever. Understandable? I'll say. How long do you plan on keeping this up? You'll have to return to the fort eventually. Sure. Or not. Maybe I'll run into a nice warlord who can tell the boys at the fort I'm on a really important mission or something. Ooh, say, you don't happen to have a spare warlord on you, do you? Oh boy. Maybe I should speak to Kaya. Nice! Don't get so excited. I'll just ask her for advice. In the meantime, you can check out the Bastion. Where she's gonna be anyway. Bastion? Ugh, you mean that pile of crap in Caracas? That's the one. Lots of weirdos hang out there. They fit right in. Well, how can I say no when you put it like that? I think we've both said enough. Took the words right out of my mouth. All right, then. Catch you later. And don't do anything I wouldn't do, you know? Get lost. Okay, okay, I'm going already. There's nothing unique or original about this guy, but it does seem like that's where they kind of put the most effort into the dialogue. So far, none of our conversations with him seem to have any non-sequiturs where one of them seems to refer to something that doesn't even make sure sense of the conversation. For us to be? Not at all, but I want to get a gander at this thing. I also still have no idea how Dark Elix as a an in-game resource is going to come into play. I'm trying to remember what this place was in the first game. And whether or not these are going to be anywhere near as... You actually can eat it. I found out. God, those are annoying. They remind me of the ash, the ass beasts in the first Risen. We can hear them a mile away. But yeah, all this stuff in here... It's all called materials for crafting and stuff. But for some reason, you take any of these nuggets of Elex-related substance, even though they're embedded in rock, you can just eat it. And they all just give resistance to frost for some reason. Including mana. Mana is supposed to restore your mana, but... Instead, it just makes you... warms you up a bit. Reminds me of how you can basically eat rocks in Morrowind. And the first time I found that was when I accident accidentally ate a diamond. It is... Uh, right here. I think this was like where the motel used to be. Or down the road from it anyway. I think while we're here, I might just check out what's in this border of Edan. 
Yeah, I think the motel was somewhere up there, and they just really sucked the landscape down a bit. So what is this thing? I'm kind of surprised there aren't more things guarding it. That looks tragic. I've been seeing this. They actually have like monsters from the game just as static corpses in the environment to give it a bit more kind of indication that somebody's been here. Nobody guarding this? Or are they in deep? Probably a very bad idea. Okay, I was not expecting this to go so far underground. Deviant. Ew, the floor's all sloppy. Are these just basic, like, NPCs? Watch out. Yep, they have weapons. Alright, that's all I wanted to see. Was it? I remember there was a, like, facility somewhere around here. And then there was, like, the big tubes going to the... Converter, but that's all the way over here. Why is it so singy-songy? There's some weird spooky ambiance. I remember the first game had some weird voices in... Certain areas, such as the, uh... What the hell is the, like, the area that Berserkers exile people to? Valley of the Damned or something? And then you could hear voices in the background. It made the place seem genuinely haunted. And I was actually kind of, like, on edge exploring it. Especially when you had that quest about, like, things that were attacking the dudes in the night. Oh, well, not Valley of Mines. But then you find out it's just some random, like, bandits. And it stopped being this interesting. So spook. Hello. Okay. Avoid. Let's see what's up here. Well, I did do exploring off screen. It was mostly in. Uh, like outdoor areas. I didn't explore any facilities. Did I get that? I did. Didn't explore any, like, buildings, facilities, compounds, or whatever. And they'll save that in case something cool happens. Save that for on-screen stuff. This, I remember, there was a... There's like a Reaver camp in there, behind this facility. It makes you wonder how many people once lived here. I don't think anyone lived here. Ooh, can I get him to step on the mine? Check this out. Check out my strategy. Oh, he blew himself up. Shoot, I didn't think he could trigger it. For some reason, I assumed uh, enemies wouldn't uh, trigger mines. What the hell? Won't even get in touch. Nice one. Who's chucking gold goblets in the trash? I think there was an exploding barrel there, but he preempted it. Also, I want to check something. Yeah, we definitely get hit points every time we level up. Just not sure the quantity. I don't think specifically. There are some skills that are exclusive to um, guilds. So each of them have seem to have their own form of magic. But ranged weapons just kind of seem to be lumped together. So whether you're using a bow or uh, guns... Yeah, this all seems to be based around magic. 
Because the, the the theme that they seem to be going with here is that the berserkers you're dealing with, yeah, you can you can iframe dodge the mines still. So ten out of ten game. Uh, but yeah, the berserkers aren't so anti technology anymore. They're just still not really using motorized stuff. For fuck's sake! He came straight through the wall. Oh, excuse me. The fact that we explored all these places in the first game means that somebody came back through here just to populate it with random stuff. So why are the, this is a second like sacrificial knife I found? Like who's doing that and putting them in all these old abandoned warehouses and shit? That's unfortunate. Uh, I thought I could take that note. Thought there'd be something good on it. So far, I haven't found anything that uses all these junk items we're finding. They're labeled as materials, suggesting that we use them in crafting. Wow. There's a lot of motherfuckers here. Pop. Oh, that missed. Go on, step on that. Dork ass. Tempted to um, dispatch my follower so that he doesn't trivialize the game for me. There actually are abilities, and it's kind of funny. There are there is an ability that you can unlock to make yourself better when you don't have a follower. So, like they balance the game completely around having a follower, which is why. They kick so much more ass than you at the beginning. And then... <laughs> what the... <laughs> Limbo. He <laughs> just sticks his ass up. Oh my god. Presenting. <laughs> oh boy. It might be better than the, um, the horse in Witcher 3. Because, holy shit. Oh my god! <laughs> I just... What the fuck? What the fuck, Roach? Jesus, I, I, I can't even see where I'm going. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm like blinded. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, they, they balance the game around having a follower. And then you have abilities you can unlock to not have a follower, which means you you basically have to use them at first. Since it's just a net negative to not have them. Well, it's just really confusing on whether or not they intend you to rely on them. The way I would do it, if I were the one developing this game, is make your allies kind of scale with your level. But that involves effort. Thanks, Dans. Yeah, Falk definitely could have done with some rebalancing. I don't know why his weapon is so amazing. Kaya, meanwhile, only uses magic and tends to miss. Do 
they just like fill in the facility, the like whole cave network that was behind this? None of these buildings look that familiar to me. What's that strange sound? That can't be good. We'll set a night watch in the coming days. No one occupying this place except us. Any face I don't recognize coming through the door, I'm killing them straight away. That guy sounds like a much more gravelly version of David Seraph from Deuce X Human Revolution. I don't think the budget went to anything, to be honest, Val. Especially since the game was supposed to uh, come out in 2020, per the terms of the grant. Boone. We're surrounded by monsters. I can't see a way out of here. They're, they're skulking around the exits the entire time. I'm telling you, they can smell our fear. If those creatures find a way inside the house, we're done for. Hopefully, they'll disappear just as quickly as they came. Maybe I shouldn't have left the big ass, like, 10 by 10 foot door wide open. Oh, our list is made. That was, uh. That was like 10 out of 10. Best thing that ever happened to me on my YouTube channel. Me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Your less is maids. What? <laughs> Your less is maids. Your less is maids. Your less is maids. Your less is maids. <laughs> Oh my god, why was that so funny? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a big ass cave back here. And it's just gone. Why am I just finding so much random raw meat? I would not be taking mystery meat that's been sitting out in the sun. Also, who's still got electricity going on in this building? For all these lamps to be on. Probably going to be a... Oh, look at that. Guys, you got to hide a bit better than that. Nice texture colliding there. Because they basically just put two sets of lockers back to back and overlapped them by about half. Was that a 6214? I'm in. I'm in. Damage blaster. Wow, even if that was fixed, it would suck. Well, that's kind of lame that they just got rid of this whole cave. That was kind of cool in the first game. It's like a whole camp to some, like... Reaver dude that I remember I had to s basically had to cheese him with grenades because he was hiding inside his little hut. And every time I got an eye shot of him, he blasted me with missiles. But he wouldn't come out of the uh, he wouldn't come out of his hut, so I just lit him up with grenades. Okay, well that's all that's down there. I do want to find my way up there. It doesn't seem like they're giving us a way. So I get the feeling that's... This whole facility did go up there at some point, I think. So maybe we start from there. I get the feeling that this whole, like, west side of the map, since it just cuts off there... Probably doing their damnedest to make sure you can't get up there. Really can't wait to get unlimited uh, jetpack. 
So far, fuel barely makes any difference. Like, it lasts maybe two seconds longer at this point. I think I already home through this one. Sure did. Uh, but I left a cup. <laughs> 